Hi there, my name is Brent Hofstede and I work for Agriculture in the Classroom Saskatchewan. Today we are going to be reading the book Alex's First Seed. So if you have the book you can read along or you can just follow on the screen. Uh, Alex's First Seed is dedicated to all the farmers who grow us yummy food to eat. Spring has arrived on the farm and things are getting busy. Farmers Nick and Mandy are tending to their fields, preparing them for this year's crop. As the tractor rides across the fields, working manure into the soil, there are things happening deep down underground. The earthworm family was awake and ready to start their day. Mom, what was that noise? Alex asked. Son, that's Nick and Mandy putting manure into the soil. We eat the organic manure, matter in the manure, to stay healthy, and it gives us the energy we need to help grow vegetables, Mom explained. Tomorrow is the most exciting day of the year for worms. Tomorrow, Nick and Mandy will be putting seeds into the ground, and that's when we start working to help the seeds grow into big, healthy vegetables. Talking about food is making me hungry. Let's find something to eat. On their way to the compost cafe, Mom started to explain to Alex, Alex, I think you are old enough to grow your own seed this year. It's going to take a lot of work before and after school and a lot of your time this summer. Do you think you can do it? Yes, I would love to do that, Alex exclaimed. When they got to the compost cafe, he saw his friend Rachel. Rachel looked up and hollered, These roots are the best! Alex and Rachel were best friends, and they were in the same grade in school. Hi, Rachel, Alex said, full of excitement. Are you working with your dad digging tunnels this summer? Oh, yes, answered Rachel. That is one of the most important jobs for worms, because the tunnels let air and water into the roots of the plant. Mom told me this morning that I can grow my own seed this year, Alex boasted. Wow, your very own seed? Rachel gasped. You are so lucky. Last year, my dad grew the best potato plant ever. Alex proudly stood a little taller. My seed is going to need lots of hard work to help it grow. Then, as he began eating, he immediately felt stronger and healthier. The next day, when Alex was getting ready for school, he heard Nick and Mandy planting seeds in the fields. Alex was so excited. During recess and lunch, all he could think about was having his own plant to plant seed to tend. When Alex got home from school, he was so excited. Mom, teacher said that earthworms digest food and leave their poop in the soil. Worm poop is called castings, which is nature's most perfect plant fertilizer. It gives plants nutrients that they need in order to grow healthy and strong. Alex dropped off his book bag, picked up his plant book, and hurried off to work. He couldn't wait to work at growing his seed. He dug tunnels to make sure that his plant seed would have lots of air and water for its roots. He wanted to learn about his, the castings he produced and how they help his seeds to grow. So he read out loud some pages from his plant book. Every day after school, Alex worked hard to help his seeds grow. Then one day, Alex noticed that his seed sprouted a little tiny root. Alex was ecstatic. His seed was growing. Every day it kept growing and growing and growing and growing. As fall approached, this little brown seed turned into a big, beautiful, orange, healthy carrot. The biggest carrot in Nick and Mandy's fields. You have worked really hard, Alex, and I am so proud of you, Mom smiled. I think Nick and Mandy will be so thrilled when they harvest these carrots next week.
What do you mean? That's my carrot. I did all that hard work, cried Alex. Then he ran off to his alone place by the big rocks. He was disheartened. He wanted to keep the carrot that he had worked so hard to help grow. Why are you so sad? The question startled Alex. He quickly looked up and saw his friend Jordan, the ant. Alex told Jordan about growing the carrot. I did all the hard work, and next week, farmers Nick and Mandy will take that carrot away from me. It's not fair. Jordan calmly asked Alex, Do you know why the farmers want that carrot? No, answered Alex in a sad voice. Come with me, Jordan said. You need to see something. Jordan took Alex up through a hole to the surface. Alex had never been this high up before. Alex peeked through the carrot plants. His mouth dropped. As far as you could see, there were carrot plants everywhere. Remember how you worked hard to dig tunnels for, the, for your carrot seed? And how you gave it castings so that it could grow big and strong? Alex nodded. Well, now Nick and Mandy will use all these carrots to help feed humans, explained Jordan. Then, Alex saw a human family for the very first time. They were buying carrots from Nick and Mandy. Alex felt so proud. See? Your carrot will be eaten by a family who depends on farmers like Nick and Mandy to provide them with healthy, healthy vegetables. The nutrients in the carrot you grew will help that child to grow healthy and strong. Alex thought about what Jordan was saying. All of his hard work meant something after all. He now understood that his work underground helps to feed families. Later that day, Alex told his mom, Now I understand why farmers like Nick and Mandy needed my carrot. His mom smiled. Alex continued, Guess what? Next year, I'm going to grow two carrots. His mom laughed. I'm sure you will, Alex. I'm sure you will. And that is the end of the story. On the last page here, there are some fun facts about worms that you can uh, read yourself. All you have to do is press pause on the YouTube video and you can read through those. And also, I just want to thank you for uh, reading along with me today. I uh, look forward to reading with you again next time. Goodbye.